In this video, I want to demonstrate how to create a center of mass feature. There are two ways. One is to go to the drop down menus, select insert, scroll down the reference geometry, and then across and select center of mass. I won't do that just yet. So, first, I want to set the angle that this handles on because as I move it, the center of mass will move somewhat with that. And if I change the length of the pin, that'll affect the center of the mass, or if I change where it's made it. So, to Position this handle where I'd like it to be first. I'm going to double click on the limit angle mate. Then I'm going to come here in the graphics area where the dimensions show up and double click on those. And I'll set the current angle to 135 degrees. Tell it to rebuild and accept that. Next I'll just click in white space to clear that. The other way I can add the center of mass feature is from the evaluate ribbon. I can go to the mass properties and here I can tell it to create a center of mass feature. So I'll do that. And right here, it shows me where my center of mass is located. Now, if I come out here and I move that handle, and then I click here and I'll need to recalculate it. And we can see how this is moving slightly. So again, I'll move the handle over here, click back here, recalculate it. And we can see the effect that has on the center of the mass. So I'll close that, just move my handle again. And here we can graphically see the center of mass. It's always nice, especially in larger fixtures or jigs, to be able to turn that on and just visually see if your part will be balanced. Like any SolidWorks feature, if I don't want to see it, I can turn its visibility on and off. So if I come over here to the feature tree, I can select it, and then select the all-seeing eye to hide it, or select the all-seeing eye to show it. 